knots are used widely in our everyday life, all the way from rock climbing to sailing to surgery. And empirically, over the many centuries of us tying knots, we have learned how to relate how some knots are better than others for specific applications. But what we lack is a predictive understanding, so models that are able to relate a particular knot configuration with its mechanical response, which is what our study is able to provide. When you tie your shoelaces, if you do a left-handed knot followed by another left-handed knot, the result is not as secure than if you do a left-handed followed by a right-handed knot. Now the question is why? To address this question, we started with the simplest possible knot, which is called the trefoil knot, which looks like this, and then changed the topology by adding subsequent turns to the knot, and then asked how much force does it take to pull the knot shut? and I can keep increasing the number of turns. And so as we increase the number of turns, what we're doing is we increasing also the force that it takes to close the knot. That is essentially making the knot more secure. And we've showed that by varying the number of turns from one to 10, say, uh, we can increase the pulling force by a factor of a thousand. So we can divide this problem into two parts. We have to be able to deal with what's happening in this braid and um, what's happening in this loop. And the braid is particularly difficult because we have to deal with the bending energies of the rod, the tension, as well as the friction that comes from the fact that uh, we have a self-contact in between the rod. And uh, putting all of this together into a predictive framework, that was, the, that was the challenge. So in our experiments, we didn't actually use standard rope. We used these nitinol rods and we tried, tied our trefoil knots, changed the topology by increasing the number of turns. And at some point, the pulling force becomes so high that I can't actually close the knot. Because we can so dramatically change the force that it takes to slip this knot, we might be able to control how heavy an object it might be able to sustain by, by changing the topology. Of course, to start somewhere, we had to start with a very simple example first, but what I believe we have done is set up the foundations from which more complex knot configurations can be uh, studied.